friends welcome back to this tutorial on integrating a github repository with the code pipeline to automate deployment of aws lambda this video will guide you the step by step guide through setting up ci cd pipeline using uh, aws code pipeline aws code build and aws code deploy so this will going to integrate your github with a code pipeline and that will pick your code and it will trigger pipeline that will ultimately deploy your aws lambda function Let's see what things we are going to discuss in today's session. So overview of the CI-CD pipeline. We will discuss the general concept of CI-CD and its importance of modern software deployment. The introduction of GitHub repository. Next, we will look at the GitHub repository that contains the Lambda function. Then we will set up a AWS code pipeline to automate the process. We will also configure AWS code build to package our Lambda function. After that, we will set up AWS code deploy to manage our Lambda deployment. The deployment and testing pipeline, finally we will deploy pipeline and its functionality. So let's move. We will be using the pre-config GitHub repository called AWS sample, a Lambda CI-CD sample here. This is, you can see in my screen. This will demonstrate the, the repository contain the simple Lambda function, the written in a Python. You can see Lambda underscore function, this is written in a Python. Along with you will see necessary, the two more files, appspec.yml and buildspec.yml. We will going to discuss both files in detail in the next coming screen. So let's move to the AWS code pipeline from here. So this is our first step to configuring our the pipeline. So right now I move to the AWS code pipeline here you can see and we will start the creating pipeline from here. So I'm giving the name the Lambda CICD pipeline here. So I'm just copying my name here. I'm just creating here new pipeline here giving the name lambda CI/CD pipeline here you can see this will basically we have to create a, a different parameter with the port pipeline so i'm just moving forward so i'm just taking the existing role i have already created existing role i have so i'm just giving that role uh, if you don't have created role you can give the new service role here simply just click create here and going to next configuration so source part we have to give from where we have to pick the our source so i'm just selecting source github so we have to take the code from the github repository i'm just connecting the github from here connect to github so this will populate the pop-up and that will connect my github repository okay i just giving the authentication part is confirmation okay now you can see you can successfully authenticated your account i can see my old repository here so i'll take my repository the aws sample cicd pipeline i'm taking the default branch is main and the default git github webhook we will pick here this will trigger your pipeline automatically once you do the change from the github repository just going for next now the main core part is build and deploy so build we will going to use aws code build so this is the code pipeline where we are taking the build at the stage and there we are taking the one more service from the aws that is the code build i'm just selecting the aws code build here so here you can see it's a region we are taking the default input artifact will taking the default here uh, project name we are taking so here we don't have project so we have to create a project so i'm just going to create a project here okay let me give the name here the project name here so i'm just giving the name sample chd code build here so i'm taking the default one configuration on demand manage uh, image ec2 ac2 image on linux 2 we are taking here service role you can choose from new also this will create a new if you want to choose the existing if you have uh, let me see if i have yeah i have already so i'm just taking the existing one okay then build spec you can give the two option if you want to give the command here you can give directly command uh, but since we have our repository contains the build spec so i'm using the build spec file here you can see here the build spec is here okay so cloud watch we are taking default one that will create a log in the cloud watch we can see the log at the deployment here i'm just creating the continue with code pipeline so this will create a successfully my project here the code build you can see it's automatic selected here i'm just going with the single build here now i'm just going for next configuration so code build is done now we went for the code deploy so we have to select the code deploy so here aws code deploy service since we don't have the application here so we have to create a new application here in the code build code deploy so since we don't have the uh, applications we have to create a application so let me go it's don't give not giving the configuration from the top here so we can go here in developer tools back then we can go to the de deploy 
in the deployment we can go the application here so there is no application it's creating the new application here so let me give the application sample cicd code deploy so this will go on aws lambda and just creating the application here so when you create an application you need to create an application group deployment group here so i'm just creating the deployment group let me create the name sample cicd so i have created sample cicd deployment group here service rule you can choose here this service rule you have to create a since it's there already i am selecting here deployment setting i'm just taking the default code deployed lambda all at once there is no other configuration i'm just creating the deployment group here so deployment group and deployment application is created so here we have to select so select with not working let's go back then it will come back next then we'll go with the deploy here we'll find the, our application so i am application i'm choosing here the deployment group it will also comes here so now going with the deployment group also let me click next so this configuration has been done successfully you can see here i'm just creating the pipeline here let me go to the code here so in the app stack here what it's configured in expect so you can see this is the app specs file here we have to call the aws lambda function this is the lambda function the function name is hello lambda upward so now we have to go to the create a lambda function also let's move to the creating the lambda function here i'm just going to the lambda function screen so i'm just creating the new function here so let us give the same name what uh, suggested here in a code so i'm just going with the uh, hello world lambda function since it's a python so we'll take the python uh, here so let me give the python 3.8 i'm just creating the function here this function will be created and that function will be used in our same csd pipeline so my lambda function is ready you can see and it's simply printing the hello from lambda there is no need to change anything so this function is ready let's go back to our main pipeline okay now you can see the app spec now let's go with the build spec so what build spec is doing it's basically using the your zip from the function and it's creating the fun lambda function dot py and app spec in the zip and at last it's making the artifact as app spec dot ml so this is the code base same we will going to use in our pipeline let's go to the cicd pipeline here since we have triggered something or the our code base so this will automatically trigger here so we have not triggered anything but we have the configured phase so you can see it's a successful let's not take this example i'm going to do some small change here so i'm just changing something here in my package.json since it's not using directly i'm just changing i'm skimming on small uh, space here okay i'm just changing here and this will put the comment here and that will actually trigger our pipeline let's go back here you can see it's triggered the source is triggered you can see so now it will trigger freshly will ignore the previous run let's go with the fresh run here so you can see source is triggered here you can see in progress you can click here this will show the details so what github version is revision you can see if you click here that will again show you the, what is the change done here so this is your github that is a source part now source part checkout is done now build is running build you can click here on the build side you can see the log here on the build so build will giving the proper detail logs so you can see the logs here what steps you have given that is actually executing from here so at last it will go the successful now let's go back to our developer tool so once build is done it's go for the deployment part this is our history so it's actually guiding and driving at the code base level so this is actually moving to the build project let's go back to the deploy here because we want to see the deployment also so in deployment part here you can see the deployment history so the second build we have trigger that is here the deployment id it is actually deploying your lambda function you can see the pre deployment validation traffic shifting and steps 3 also here you can see successfully configuration here you can see what its application configure how deployment group works and then finally you can see the lambda function configuration what is revision taken here you can click here this will take your revision from what you change from the uh, your changes from the github repository that will trigger our build pipeline and build pipeline will create your output as a s3 here you can see what is the output here inside the s3 so that is actually giving your the pipeline outcome here that's the artifact here so once you click here the lambda chd pipeline that folder here you can see the both uh, directory the source directory basically contains the source of your code so this will trigger com contains a different source of and the build directory that will actually giving the output here as a build so this will automatically trigger inside once you configure the cicd pipeline through the code 
CI CD. So this is the example of how we can integrate GitHub with AWS code pipeline that will trigger code build that will trigger a deploy. This is a completely simple example of the DevOps CI CD pipeline from where to start and from where to end. This is basically integration. Here we see the integration. We have seen the how code pipeline is configured. This is pretty much straightforward. You can configure easily. So don't hesitate. You can do the same with your own. If you have any further requirement for specific video content, you can raise in the comment section also. We will try to definitely create video for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.